Oh, hello everyone. Welcome to my new video. As you can see, I have uh, made a new haircut because during this coronavirus period, uh, nobody wants to make haircut for me. So I grab an electrical haircutter myself and I can cut myself. Uh, in this video, I'm going to share with you a very simple trick for the one shot 360 photography. Uh, especially especially with the, the one shot 360 cameras is that how to remove the chromatic aberrations and with my approach uh, you can get rid of all the chromatic aberrations and very easy to understand so let's dive right in okay now in the live demo section i to show you three examples uh, three photos 360 panoramas taken with different cameras the first one was shot with z1 this afternoon and this one was shot with 1R uh, at night mode. And this one was shot uh, a year ago with the Misphere camera. This approach is uh, very effective on all the cameras, including the Kukam AK and some other cameras. Okay, so now let's take a look at the first example. Uh, this one was captured by the Ricoh Cita Z1 this afternoon. And uh, the Z1 has an excellent lens design, but in some very extreme light, light situation, we can still capture some uh, chromatic aberrations such as a purple fringe and some blue fringe and uh, you cannot correct all of them in Lightroom or Adobe Camera Raw because uh, the Adobe system is not not always working on the two fisheye imaging format so in the final 360 format uh, we have you can see that this is blue fringe and on the other side uh, it is the purple fringe for my trick is very easy it's to duplicate the layers and uh, to use Adobe Camera Raw for this layer once again is uh, go to filter and uh, camera raw filter and in the camera raw filter we can uh, apply the chromatic aberration correction once again uh, based on the live preview like this and you can correct the purple fringe or the green um, uh, fringe with different amount and a different uh, hue se section and this one was uh, kind of like a blue or purple fringe so we push it out you can see this fringe it has been removed but we have a little bit of red fringe so we can uh, fine-tune this hue section and finally we can remove all them all of them in this area right but be careful that uh, it will overcook in some other part of the image. Uh, so, for example, you can see on the on this the woman's coat, you can see the artifacts. But later on, we can use the layer mask. Okay, and in, uh, in this area, you can see that it's totally gone, right? It's gone because it's a purple fringe. And what if we have some uh, blue or the green fringe? You can. Uh, correct with the green amount slider okay so you can see that with some uh, you can see here on my on my code you can see a little bit of green fringe so we can push it out and remove the green fringe so by uh, correct by the camera filter once again we can finally uh, correct all of them you can see that this is blue fringe here and with some amount and now this image has been the chromatic aberration has been completely removed and next we can add a layer mask and mask out the part we want that's very easy right you can see okay for the other part uh, apply the layer mask once again as you can see there's uh, some blue fringe the purple fringe and uh, this area okay yeah and be careful with this area and don't overcook after that you can see now this image the chromatic aberration has been removed completely with the camera raw filter and layer mask and uh, merge them together and save as a new image and you are good to go okay we apply the same trick to the another example you can see there are some uh, fringe the purple blue and 
duplicate the layers, camera raw filters, zoom in to 100% so that you can see the chromatic aberrations, and fine tuning the, this area. Okay. And add a layer mask. Yes, you can remove that purple fringe. Completely gone, right? And this works really effective uh, because you can correct in, at the final stage, including uh, correct some uh, stitching errors. So it will help you get uh, the perfect result very fast. Let's take another example. You can see this image has very se severe uh, chromatic aberrations. There are blue fringe everywhere. And if you apply the automatically uh, CA remove, it's, it's not working perfect. So it's control J, control shift and A, call them out and uh, remove the mount. Okay. And select OK. And correct the layer mask to mask out the place you want. Or you can uh, place this one as a reference layers, but put the original layers as a background copy. And you can go through this image because there are so many uh, chromatic aberrations. So if you have, if you're not satisfied with some part of this, uh, you can bring back the original one because this image has so much chromatic aberrations that we have to correct most of them, okay? So we use this layer as a reference layer and use the original layer to mask out the part that is not uh, chromatic aberrations, like this. I think you got you know, my idea, right? So in this video, I have shown you a very simple but very effective approach to remove all the chromatic aberrations, uh, even if the, the lens design is almost perfect on the camera, such as the Ricosita Z1. And this approach can be applied to any one of the OneShot 360 cameras. The reason why I would like to share this approach with you guys is that conventional method of removing CA uh, just not working all the time. For the OneShot 360 cameras, we do have a very specific format which is a dual fisheye image. So that is not a conventional image for the Adobe system. So the automatically chromatic operations is not always working very well uh, for the dual fisheye image. And I hope in the future we can work with Adobe system together to overcome this problem so that in the future uh, in Adobe Camera Raw or in Lightroom, uh, once you have clicked this box of removing CA, so you can get the Chromatic uh, aberration completely free, uh, but now uh, we have to find a way to get rid of CA by ourselves. And I hope this video is helpful for you. And don't forget to love, subscribe, and hit notification bell. I will see you in the next video. Bye.